Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to have a look at what's in this box. Sophos gives it away. This is the Sophos XGS 116. This is actually the wireless model. The only thing that's different between this and the non-wireless is the antenna. That's it. You are going to get in the box, so we'll run through all this, you're going to get a quick start guide. All right, actually quite useful. It reminds you of the features of the box, how to get going on it as well. Do remember, you will need a web browser to be able to access this and you access this directly onto the unit and make configuration changes on the unit. So that'll help you get going on there. You get a lovely blue conformity guide. You are going to get the unit itself, which we'll have a look at in a moment. You are going to get four plastic feet if you want to mount this on a shelf or just mount it on your desktop or something like that and you don't want to put it in a rack. Uh, this isn't directly rack mountable as itself, but there are rack mountable options for it. You are going to get a probably one and a half meter patch cable and you're going to get about the same of a console cable, USB to, I think it's micro USB at that end. Um, you are going to get a power lead. Uh, we're in Australia, so here's our main power at that end. It is IEC here. This is going to plug into what I jokingly say on this, and I do apologize, one of the biggest power lumps um, I've actually seen. Let me just give you an idea. Here's the unit. Here's the power pack. It is almost the entire depth of the unit. All right, this unit does provide PoE as well, so I will give uh, uh, so far, a little bit of credit for that, but it is a really huge um, power pack. Here we got um, PoE in, and we've got PoE power in at that side, IEC connector. All right, and we've got our connector to the unit, which I'll show you there in a moment. And then because this is a wireless model, we get two antenna, but this is the only difference between this and the non-wired model. So let's actually have a look at the unit itself. Let me just hold that up so you can see that there. All right, so let's start on uh, this side here. We have our small console connector uh, here and we have a USB port on this side. Not much showing over onto here until we get onto the LEDs. Here we can see that um, things like uh, our network speed um, and connectivity side of things, whether the cable is connected. All right, and we move then on to our further lights on this side. This unit can take um, two power supplies. So we get two power LEDs. We've got a wireless light to show wireless is running and we've got a PoE light to show whether we're providing PoE on the single PoE port, which I'll talk about in a moment. You also do get a HDD, a hard drive indicator light. Most of these models have inbuilt hard drives. Um, they're SSDs um, and they store their reporting information directly on the unit. Something to note here, the unit is side cooled. So if you're putting this in a rack or you've got a hot or a cold air containment system, do make sure you've got enough uh, ambient air running over this to keep these cool. Let's have a look at the back, which is probably the bit you're more interested in. All right, so we will do these in a moment. These are our uh, wireless antenna connections. All right, like I said, this is the only difference between this unit, the wireless and the non-wireless. All right, then starting over this side, we have our two mains inputs. All right, like I said, Here's the uh, power pack. Uh, we can plug this in and do the nut up. Once the nut's actually done up like that, this isn't coming out. So really good there if we're trying to do uh, this in the rack um, and obviously the power connections and all of our cables are here at the back and we move it backwards and forwards, we know that we're not gonna lose power. So we've got two uh, power connectors over on this side. Again, back here, we've got a USB at the bottom and another console. Uh, port there for out of bounds management, um, often for resetting the password if you've gone, uh, gone it or some basic configuration. Then we have a tiny on off switch, which I often forget. Um, sometimes when I power these units up, they don't power up straight away. Do remember you have an on off switch uh, there. Then we get to a single SFP. It's not a 10 gig, it is a one gig SFP. All right, there are a number of modules here that. Um, so far, so already do, there is a VDSL modem which will plug directly into this. So you can do VDSL directly on the box, no need for another external router. We now have uh, six ethernet ports, so six one gig ethernet ports um, over, to, uh, over to, again, our wireless connector there. And you can probably just make it out under here, there's a tiny reset button. 
Then we move to Ethernet port 7, which again is 1 gig, and we move down here. All right, to um, our last 1 gig Ethernet port, but this one provides PoE power as well. So maybe you're going to use this in tandem with some other access points, or maybe a VoIP phone or something like that, then you can power that directly uh, from the unit. And then last of all, right over on this side, we've got an expansion bay. Um, this can be used for um, an additional wireless card. Um, there's a 4G module that can go in here, and there are some other options, I believe, um, to extend the port density across to it. So like I said, the only difference with this and uh, the non-wireless is the antennas. So the antennas go onto this side. Um, this is not a technical overview, just showing you all of the components that are in the box. Uh, so there you go. Can't even do the antennas up properly. All right, so those go mounted on there. That's what our unit now looks like, uh, front and back. Do head on over to our YouTube channel. Uh, we've got plenty more box openings on wireless networking and firewall devices. We've got plenty of how-to guides, how to secure your network with a Sophos. We've got performance um, reviews um, on how some of these perform actually on our one gig internet connection um, and the throughputs you can expect with all the um, performance um, things like intrusion prevention and everything else, all the security side of things turned on. So do subscribe to stay up to date, but hopefully that's been useful.